Hello students, today I will discuss 9th numerical of friction chapter. Let us read the statement. Find the force x for which motion of the 60 newton block is impending. If the cable CD A part is attached, B part is removed. So first of all we will solve A part when the cable CD is attached. So we are given one diagram. In this diagram two blocks are given. One is of 60 newton weight, another one is of 40 newton weight. The 40 newton weight block is resting on the top of 60 newton weight block and both are resting on horizontal surface and a cable is attached to both the blocks labeled as CD uh, through the help of a pulley and on this particular block that is of 60 newton weight one force named as X is applied towards left. So we have to find that what force we should apply uh, to this 60 newton block towards left that is labeled as X so that uh, this particular block should impend towards left and in a part we have to assume that this cable is attached so in this particular diagram uh, or this uh, situation given to us see there is relative motion between the two blocks when we will pull this particular block 60 newton block towards left then uh, this 40 newton block will move towards right because cable is attached between the two blocks so there is a relative motion between these two blocks it means we have to draw their individual free bodies so let us first draw the free body of 40 newton block so we have to sketch a horizontal line on that line we have to represent the block and first force to represent for this particular block is its weight which will act in vertical downward direction that is 40 against that weight we will show its nominal pressure we will label it as n1 because two free bodies are involved in this particular situation so we will call this particular pressure as n1 after labeling these two forces the next force to label in the free body of 40 newton block is the tension in the cable now the tension in the cable will act towards left why because when you will pull this particular 60 newton block towards left then there will be a tension in this cable towards right which will pull this 40 newton block towards right so we have to show that tension towards right in the free body of 40 newton block let us label that tension as t now we have to think about the motions between these two blocks one very important part to understand that uh, these two uh, uh, blocks are in motion uh, in relative motion so if you have to find the force of friction between this particular surface between the block 40 newton uh, and 60 newton then you have to assume that 60 newton block is stationary actually what is happening 60 newton block is moving towards left 40 newton block is moving towards right but if you have to think about the direction of friction force for 40 newton block then you have to consider that other, other block is stationary so if i see if i assume that 60 newton block is stationary then this 40 newton block will move to is moving towards right it means friction at this particular surface will act towards left so over here we will consider friction towards left and we'll call this particular friction force as F1. So after labeling this friction force F1 we are ready with the free body of upper block that is 40 Newton. So uh, you know in this particular problem motion is impending given to us so for this particular block as well two equations are applicable those are summation fx is equal to 0 or summation fy equal and summation fy equal to 0. Let us use the first equation that is summation fx is equal to 0. So how many forces are acting along x direction? One is tension T acting towards right, we will take this as positive. Frictional force acting towards left, we will take this as negative. So final equation will become T minus F1 equal to 0. So from here we will get T minus mu s N1 equal to 0. So in this equation there are three variables tension, mu s, coefficient of static friction, N1. Coefficient of static friction is given in the problem as 0 0.40. So we can put that value here T minus 0 0.40 N1 equal to 0. So in this equation there are two variables T and N1. We can't solve these two. So let us call this equation as equation number 1. Now we will apply the second equation. Second equation is summation Fy equal to 0. So how many forces are acting in y direction? N1 and 40 newton 
n1 is acting in upward direction that will be positive 40 is acting in downward direction that will be negative so equation will become n1 minus 40 equal to 0 so from here we'll get value of n1 as 40 newton then we will say put value of n1 in equation 1 so when you will put this value of n1 in above equation you will get equation as t minus 0 0.40 into 40 equal to 0 so from here we will get value of tension as 16 newton so from the free body of 40 newton block we got three values one is normal pressure and one is 40 newton then tension is equal to 16 newton and from here we can calculate value of f1 as well so uh, we will can get that value as f1 is equal to mu sn right mu sn1 so you can use mu s as 0 0.40 into n1 is given to us as 40 so this will also be equal to 16 newton fine so from this equation also you can get this t is equal to f1 so it means we got the value of first frictional force as well now in order to solve this problem further we need to draw the free body of second block so how to draw the free body of second block first of all we will show the surface horizontal surface on that surface we will show this block and the first force to represent on this block is its weight let us show its weight in the vertical downward direction that is of 60 newton then it will receive a normal pressure from the surface let us call that pressure as n2 one more thing to observe here in the free body of 60 newton block you have to consider the weight of 40 newton block as well because both are resting on horizontal surface so weight of first block that is 40 newton will act on the second block as well so that will also act in downward direction over here will consider this as that as 40 now after labeling that weight 40 newton what next we will do we will see is there any other external force acting in the free body of 60 newton yes there is there are two more forces one is the pull at this end that is labeled as x second will be the tension in cable on the other end so let us first label the pull so it is acting towards left so it is labeled as x then tension in the cable will also act towards right why it will act towards right because when you will pull this, pull this 60 newton block towards left then there will be a tension in this particular cable towards right because of the weight 40 newton lying at the bottom li lying at the top of that block so let us label that tension here so this tension will be same tension we have calculated in the previous free body that is t okay so after this we have to see the direction of frictional force one very important part to understand that uh, this 60 newton block is in contact with two surfaces one over here second at the bottom so if we have to find the direction of frictional force for this particular block we have to assume that upper block is stationary so in this particular situation 60 newton block is moving towards left that means Friction force at this surface and at this surface will act towards right. So we have to show two frictional forces and both will act towards right. So this will be called as F1. This is the same frictional force we have used in the previous free body because same contacting surface is used here. So this will be new friction between block 60 Newton and the surface, horizontal surface. So let us call this as F2. So now we are ready with the free body of second block so motion is impending for this block as well it means we will use two equations summation fx equal to zero summation fy equal to zero so let us use the first equation summation fx equal to zero so let us see how many uh, forces are acting along x direction t acting towards right positive frictional force f1 acting towards right positive f2 acting towards right positive x acting towards left we will take this as negative so final equation will become t plus f1 plus f2 minus x is equal to 0 so the value of t we have already calculated the value of t is 16 newton so we will label it as place it over here as 16 plus f1 is also 16 we will replace f2 as mu s n2 minus x is equal to 0 
further we can say 32 plus mu s is 0 0.40 into n2 minus x is equal to 0 so there are two variables n2 and x can't solve let us call this equation 2 then apply the second equation that is summation fy equal to 0 now how many y direction forces 3 so n2 is acting in upward direction positive these two are acting in downward direction negative so equation will become n2 minus 60 minus 40 equal to 0 so th this will be equal to n2 is equal to how much 100 so we'll say put value of n2 in equation 2 so when you will put value of n2 in equation 2 you will get value of x so that is our first answer so you will get value of x as 72 newtons so this is the answer for a part when the cable is attached so if cable is attached there will be relative motion between the two blocks so you need to draw two free bodies but if we will talk about b part what he is saying in b part when the cable is removed when you will remove this entire cable then what will happen there will be no relative motion between these two blocks so it means there will be only one free body so that free body will be the combination of these two blocks because this total weight will become 100 newtons because there is no relative motion between these two because cable is removed so in b part we will just draw this free body and we will take the weight of this whole block as 100 newtons acting in downward direction so it will receive normal pressure from ground of course we will call it as n only because this whole unit will act as a single block so x is acting at this particular point on this block towards left and no cable is attached so no tension will be there of course then the block is moving towards left so friction force will act towards right f so this will be the only free body for b part when cable is removed so we will apply the first equation we will say summation fx is equal to 0 so summation fx is equal to 0 means f minus x is equal to 0 so how much is f mu s n minus x is equal to 0 or you can say that mu s is 0 0.40 n minus x is equal to 0 n and x are variables we don't know so call this equation number 3 then we will apply second equation summation f y equal to 0 so equated equation will be n minus 100 so from here you will get n as 100 so you will say put this value of n put value of n in equation 3 then you will get value of x so value of x for b part will be 40 newtons so i hope this particular numerical is clear to you thank you very much